example four, write a matrix that is both a row matrix and the column matrix. Recall that a row matrix has one row and then some number of columns. A column matrix has some number of rows, but only one column. Putting this together, this is telling me that I'm going to have, uh, if it's both a row and a column matrix, that means that this M position, the rows are going to be one, and the columns are also going to be one. So this is a one by one matrix that they're asking for. And I could use any constant or variable. This would be both a row matrix and a column matrix. It has one row and it has one column or it could be five, or I could use a variable such as y or x. So any of these examples would be a row matrix or a column, and a column matrix at the same time. That concludes this lesson from educator.com, and I'll see you next time when we talk more about matrices.